Hey there, uh, Nogal, just doing your uh, course playthrough. Thought I'd just show you the settings. I'm gonna play pin two gold tees. I'm gonna do medium south winds and then default everything else just to kind of get it through. Uh, I don't think Vindavona is a bad name at all. Uh, I think it'll work, it's memorable. So let's get into it. Let's see what you got. Ooh, okay. Planting style is pretty interesting. I dig it. Maybe a bit busy in spots, but I mean, that's kind of what this style looks like. Huh. It's pretty wild. I don't mind it. Be interested to know what you were uh, going for with this. Hold on. So. so. Bunkers are noticeably rugged. They're a bit different than your regular bunker. Ooh. Oh, yeah. You always have great clubhouses. Let me look at this. Oh, that's a lot of fun. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah, planting looks okay. Yeah. I like the use of the uh, snow grass. I was considering using snow grass with Boreal in the past. I think it does a nice pop. Right off the bat, first hole. No, this seems fine to me. The angle is longer you go. Yep. I'm playing with no tempo because I tempo is horrendous right now and I just kind of want to be able to actually execute on my shot, see how hard they are right now, but yeah. No, I think you'll get a lot of praise for the, the visuals on this course. Look. Definitely lean more on the I can't decide of things. Green works. Hope there isn't a pin there. There might be. That one seems a little, <laughs> a little tight. Uh, let's see. Pin two. I mean, hit right into there. One sixty-seven. Fine. Greens are leaning more on the kinetic elite side of things. I will say these green these greens, the first two greens already feel maybe a bit busy and maybe a bit claustrophobic with how little flat space is on them. You probably tone this down a little bit, though it might just be that it's at 167. But the thing that you kind of have right here is a flat plateau that maybe covers like a nine nine grid space and a bunch of things, and another nine grid plateau. Basically, what I'm saying is these strokes, these these uh, slopes, albeit are fine to have does give a kind of a claustrophobic feel to it. It kind of compartment it kind of compartmentalizes the green into little little pockets of playable space. And I know even at 167s this this is this still plays fine, but it just seems a little busy. And as usual, choose to take or ignore any of my feedback. I have strong opinions on stuff, you know that. <laughs> I, my opinions are not shared by everyone either. Yeah, this slope, for instance, feels too hard to actually use as like a... For example, if I were to land a ball here, the ball would probably end up all the way down here, yeah? Like this... This ends up not even being a helpful kicker slope. It just ends being uh, even more penalizing. So. And I generally do a softer brush touch anyway, so that's also just my preference. Um, 
I would just say e just soften this all a bit. Visually, no complaints. No complaints at all. It looks really good. Ooh, I like this corridor. Yeah, I like the lighting a lot too. I think you nailed it across the board. Visually. Bunkers look fine. I think you have a certain style of bunker you do, and there it's always a variation off of a style of bunker. Like I remember the it's, these are kind of similar to your bunkers on Dream Team. And I think your last course had bunkers similar to this too. There's like a little bit of a tweak. Like this one isn't as pretty looking because it's kind of just a circular blob, but overall it's fine. Like that you gave a lot of room up here. Ooh, will I reach? See this green's a little bit better. You can see there's a little bit more breathing room and there's an actual like long snaking area of a relatively the same height so it's not just compartment compartment like i can't quite tell where all your pins will be on this hole i'm guessing one will be there one will probably be there it's there here where i just barely clear if i took driver i bet you i would need it I wouldn't have made it. This hole three? You know, I don't mind this green site, to be honest. I feel like it's the perfect distance off the tee. Let's see, going back here. Right, my controls are shit. Okay. Yeah, I don't mind that green site, to be honest, in terms of how the, this cross hazard plays. It's like the three wood barely clears, a driver would be lower and has a chance of hitting this top bunker. So I don't actually mind this green site. I don't think you should move it further back or forward because you want it to roll out a little bit. It could be moved forward a little bit, but I don't think that's necessary. I, I don't have much problem with this green site. I'm trying to think. Because you had it over here, it would just take away from this cross hazard. If you had it back there, then it wouldn't really be reachable except maybe downwind. I could see it down here too, if it was a little shorter off the T. The problem is the distance means is if it's down here. You have to hit one that really challenges this edge, and then you get a kicker slope that slopes it down to the green down here. I mean, I'm fine with it on this part. I I don't think you have that much of an issue here. I think their green's fine. Fourth. Back down the other way. All right. I can see what you mean here. You have a lot of kind of almost unnatural plateaus that this hole is playing on. I know you just planted a shit ton of this down here to kind of get this more sharp edge. If you wanted to, you could definitely incorporate more of the slope on this hole. This feels like it was kind of artificially raised on the left side. All right. I don't love this green, but on the shorter hole, it makes sense. The on shorter holes too, you could probably do. If you don't like this green site very much, it's because it, it does once again have that weird propped up feel. I feel like since playing over here for the longer shot, looking back at the T, right? Where am I? 
Where am I? Okay. You have this bunker right here, so there... There feels like there's a choice off the tee of either hitting the full driver down here or laying up here, right? But what's the reward for this shot exactly? I'm trying to think about it. In terms of choice, everyone's just going to bound a driver, like a partial driver or like a something down to this side. And then you get a better distance in but this side. I'm just seeing this angle here because, you know, like the bottle template, you kind of have these where you can lay up and have a better angle in or hit it over on the other side and have the better distance control in, like you're playing a shorter shot so you can stop it quicker. I'm almost wondering if this green should be over here. Again, I, I'm just thinking about how this whole plays. Like, if you wanted, and it would also maybe make this land movement feel a bit more natural, is have this be like a depressive area, as in lower this whole area and have a green down here. Because if you do that, and then you end up hitting your driver too far over to the left, the trees start being frighteningly in play off the second shot, right? They start becoming imposing if the green's on this side. And then from this angle, if you lay up, it's a good angle in, because it kind of matches. And then maybe you can just barely see the flag tip if you were to lower this down, so it's like barely visible or even partially blind shot. Yeah, I could imagine a lot of ways, but all of them involve changing the land. And if you really don't want to do that, because you've already done all the planting, it's a lot of work to change this. But if you really don't like this green site, because I, I don't see any reason why you would drive her into this, even the better angles from the side, because you're hitting onto the slope instead of through this, which is pretty difficult. I could imagine the green just being over here and then lowering this land a bit more. And then also having this whole fairway instead of having this sharp slope then flat, you know, relatively flattish, then sharp slope, then relatively flattish, have it be more gradual on this side. So the whole like fairway feeds you towards this tree line and really makes it kind of scary to hit in here because if your ball ends up further left suddenly this tree is looks in play but isn't really because you're still hitting a wedge right you're still hitting over it so the tree's not really in play it's just visually intimidating you know what i mean you have like a green over in this corner yeah and uh of course you can still have the bunker like expand over here a lot of your center line bunkers feel a bit like small compared to how big you have scaled up these other bunkers right so you could even make these like longer like have this cut in have this screen like right here i don't know i'm just seeing what you have and and that, that's kind of my thoughts on this whole like this whole area just feels propped up a little unnaturally yeah i can see how you're kind of uneasy about four But I think three is fine as is, to be honest. I don't think you do double depressions like my suggestion for moving the green to the right on three would not happen if you did that on four. You don't really want that back to back. Okay, so the severe layup. All right, five, get it. I imagine any wind into your face and suddenly this hole is These holes are so tricky to do. I almost never do them because they're just so... I did one on Chuski way back in the day. I didn't quite pull it off. I'm just thinking about how this hole plays into the wind. If this hole plays into the wind and suddenly there's no way to reach driver here, it's 51 feet down, so I wonder if you've tested this really into the wind. You said you like south winds. Uh, I'm, I'm curious how reachable this is. It's only 386, right? So I can just hit this down here. Uh, 
Eh. I just don't imagine anyone will uh, play that shot. Everyone's gonna... And maybe medium wins are the most you go, but everyone's gonna hit driver here, right? Almost feel like you have two options with the hole like this. Either you give more fairway room up here and really punish this angle if you try to play the safer play, if you have the fairway increased in width out to the side. Have like the green, I see the green already angles pretty dramatically away from that side, so maybe it's already kind of built in. Have the fairway come out more here. Or I don't know what these bunkers are doing for you. Maybe they're in play on this hole. But open up the fairway space on this side so that the layup is more like a three iron. Yeah, have like the fairway come over on this side more. Like I don't... The hazard is already this water, right? So I almost feel like you don't need another layer of hazard here. I don't know. To me, it just feels awful hitting like a 7 or 8 iron into a off a tee on a par 4. Even if it's a short par 4, right? It's just too much of a too much of a loss for a layup shot than hitting a driver down here. So, I think in terms of how this plays, you either you could either extend the fairway apron here, kind of make this like a little bit more of a lower flattened fairway, so Maybe you don't even have a clear shot in the green, or it's like partially blind, or it's an uphill shot so it's harder to stop the ball. There's some way to make this shot possible in higher winds, or maybe remove this bunker, maybe give the fairway more room on this side so I can at least hit a 3-iron off the tee here for Leia. Because I think that's about the shortest club that really makes sense. Let's see how far the driver goes. Yeah, the driver clears it pretty easily, even into the wind on medium. Well, it's like four mile per hour wind. Love to have played this on probably a higher wind would make sense. Otherwise, green side's fine. I agree, this one's good. I like the idea of this green. See, and I feel like the slopes are almost a little bit too dramatic. I know that's a style, and I feel like that might be the style of this course. But they become less less of a kicker if going in from the proper angle, and more of a just, uh... It kicks you all the way off the green to the other side, even with the good angle in. Yeah, that hole is just incredibly hard to pull off because of this game's weird finickiness distances and all that. I think it's pretty hard to pull off in real life, too. Not very many good split fairway ones like that exist. I think you can, though, but those would be my two suggestions. All right. Oh, this one. There's there's a good example of this on, uh, what is it, Waldo's CC course recently that came out. The Aberdeen Mining Co. has a par 5 that really splits. Ooh, this is a very tempting shot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Again, I don't think you need as sharp of reds. I feel like an orange or a yellow would actually play harder because then the ball can stop or be nestled closer to these slopes and then you have a really awkward putt in. Sometimes red slopes play easier than yellow slopes because the ball can't stop on those slopes. Once again, it seems to be the style of green you're going for on this course is kind of the harsh and a more dramatic slopings. It's fine, they seem to all work together. Just a preference thing for me more than anything else. Seven. Is there a gap? Six fourteen. It's 
96 down. Very tempted to hit over here. Get an angle in though. Hold on. I'm going to I'm going to try the crazy shot first. Hit over here. Okay, I can't quite reach it in this wind. How far does that leave me out? 322. Huh. So no. The shot looks like an alternative, but the hole is too long. That's fine. I'm sorry, I'm just obsessed with trying shortcuts like this because so many of them pop up on TGC tours where like everyone starts dying getting a shortcut shot. Might be might be worthwhile of having some visual thing that cuts off a bit of the idea of hitting a shot over here. Let me try one more. Right here. Because otherwise I can see people like at least entertaining this idea, even if it's stupid. Like just having some visual block. Okay, like this isn't too bad. I lock this. Yeah. I could see people trying to play these shots. Just, just the thought on that. Just something to look out for. I actually don't think those shots were too hard. Now, now that I figure out how to execute it. I don't think those shots are too hard. To figure out, and it takes water out of play to some degree. Uh, maybe don't worry about that too much. I think that's just more of a. More of a thing of maybe visually making it less like an option off the tee. You know, we have a bunch of degenerate flat players <laughs> and elite players, stuff like that, that will do very weird things to a golf course like that. That will always be looking for some form of way to exploit every hole. All right, eight. It is fun because it gets narrower the farther up or I can lay up. Yeah. I don't really feel like this bunker. I, I can see how this bunker may be. Yeah, I can see how this hole might be affected by those bunker removals, but still, I don't think it's a huge effect. Like this is a, uh, by playing over here, this is, oof, this angle is pop. We'll see, it seems, seems pretty good. No comments. All right. Nine. I love this framing. This looks really good. Skin slopes may be a tad bit too extreme, especially these up here just feel a bit too much. I'm not going to comment on these anymore. I've commented on them enough. You can always soften them a little bit more. I like how this whole plays. It's fine. Oof. That is a rough little mini slope right here though. The ball will almost always pick you down. Alright, 10 is another one you said you don't love the green side of. I do think this, the even smaller, yeah, it's like your center lane bunkers either need to be bigger or smaller. I actually like this one a lot. I think this one scales decently. This one could probably be blobbed out a little bit. This one could even go like that. Yeah, that one looks good. 
<sighs> Look. I don't mind the green site here, but I feel like you could do a lot of other things. You could take out these bunkers, bring in the planting on this side, and then tuck the green back here. Or even have the green a little bit more up the slope up here and have it kind of with the runoff. There's a lot of things you could do. But yeah, you could definitely have the green up here if you wanted and have more of that downslope that kind of perched halfway up a hillside look that like Mackenzie loved to do. This one plays fine. Yeah. Ooh, that that looks pretty good. This is a wild hole. Better angle to the right the closer I play. The bunkers, eh? Let's see what the second shot looks like. Oh man. <laughs> wow. Okay. Way uphill. Again with the slopes. I just can't stop commenting. This seems like a silly half slope location where you just flattened a piece and put a pin there. I don't know where I was supposed to hit. I'm going to declare unplayable and try again. All right. Maybe. Hmm. Okay. I almost wonder if the... E Ooh. Oh shit. I almost wonder if the T could be a little shorter on this one. And why would, would I say that? Um, I get this is already a shorter five, but being able to clear this edge of the bunker and hit here would be really nice. I get that you could probably do that downwind, but I still like maybe five, ten yards shorter. So you could clear this bunker edge and end up here. If you really took this bunker on and hit here, you would have that, that beautiful clear angle at the green. Versus now it, I'm kind of just hitting here and there, there's always, I feel like no matter what I hit here, right? The rock is still Kind of within my angle, I hit over here, I'm just dead. I have to. Well, actually, I could curve a shot around, but you know what I mean. If you had the ability to hit a ball here, it would open up one, people really challenging this bunker to get over here for the perfect angle. It just opens up that one additional way to play this hole. Otherwise, it's a pretty wild hole in general with the rocks in front. Don't mind it. I think some people would really, in the design community, might have stronger opinions on a hole like that. I don't mind it. All right, looking at 12. This kind of, again, has that effect off the T, what I'm talking about, where it feels like the fairway is floating. And then all the slope occurs right off. It'd be nice if the fairway flowed down the slope a little bit more, you know, because this shot doesn't feel very threatening, but if there's even like a tiny bit more slope to this curling down, like have the fairway extend just a bit further out, but also have the slope more go more intensely down the slope, 
it feels like there's this chance of my ball running through the fairway with that reverse camber that you kind of see at a lot of golf courses. Once again, I can lay up over here. You're also getting to the point where it's almost the corridor is almost too wide. This is beginning to feel like 70, 80, 90 yards wide where you can almost hit a wedge across the entire area. Just be wary a bit about maybe the scale getting a bit away from you now. I noticed that in the last hole too. It felt like things were beginning to get really wide. But yeah, just incorporating this slope that's already naturally here in the terrain to kind of scare me into the thought that this ball can run out the fairway more. Like it did there, like because of the mounted down slope, it did roll. It didn't roll out as much as I just flew the fairway. But instead having the tee a little further back and then having the ball slope down a bit more. So there's the chance that if you hit a hundred percent down there, it will just roll through. And if, yeah, green side's nice. Bunker looks cool. Kind of have the weird plateauing again. I don't love this without having more fairway down here. Oh, hoo, 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 that was a bad putt. Not want to miss there on the screen. the big downhill. This looks great. I love the cross views on this hole. This is fun. This green is cool. Yeah, I like this green overall. If you have a pin here, you're you're a jerk. <laughs> but yes, uh, I know this is the same length as a as nine. Nine was about 200, but this is so downhill I'm hitting a completely different shot. Maybe once again, scaling begins to feel a bit big, like the way that how much fair for a nine iron shot in, how much fairway you had over here feels just everything is beginning to feel a bit too big or out of scale compared to the front nine. This green feels very large. Yeah, I just say maybe you could maybe shrink the area of area around this hole even more. Oof. Yes. You and your love of the OB line soul. I remember the, the first hole on, on your dream team, of course. This looks great, by the way. Yeah, again, you kind of have the tearing, tearing, very harsh edge. I get it. I always try to think of slopes on the green as the ridge goes across the whole thing. Then you end up with plateau, 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 plateau. So there's pin, 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 pin. If you softened, you could soften this a bit to make it so the slopes are, are different. Think of it as mounds in the green instead of ridges. I can't help but comp comment on the greens. I will say, I think this is your best planting in general over here. The more minimal rock. I really like this right here. This, I think, is your best planting, of course, around hole 14. Some of my favorites. It's just so understated, but looks so natural. Well, maybe not understated. It's still pretty boldly planted. You're probably at a meter too, so me telling you to shrink play areas in some spots like on 13 might not be too easy to do. <laughs> Get it? Maybe you can take it away from some of the other holes I was talking about, like 12 or something, where I want the, you could extend the fairway down a bit further. 15. Yep. 
get no comments like this old. This one's fun. I mean, like, this slope is softer. Still kicks me off the back, but that's fine. You can still soften these slopes a little bit more, or just go with slower green speeds. No, you want one, you wanted the faster ones for 1A6 use and all that, but yeah, those slopes are just extreme. Ooh, okay, another big downhiller. The short. Ooh, with some brutal, brutal pins. I don't mind this at all. Once again, slope could be a little bit less crazy. Because if a ball stops up, up above the hole, that putt becomes ridiculously hard. Okay. 17. Yeah. Kind of drivable in the downwind north. Ugh. Feel like you've done this a little, you've done this enough that this isn't really necessary to do on this. What do I think about this as a drivable hole? I think everyone just play, bails into this bunker. Yeah, and hits it. Yeah, everyone bails into this bunker. Not too hard of a bunker shot across the slopes because they have a bit of the backstop going. And they can just clear this with bunker shot to the back. Not too bad of an angle either. Yeah, I'd say pretty much everyone's going to bail into this. I do wonder if you can incorporate the slope more into this instead of having it be a bunker. Like have the, you could almost have the entire green slope away from this side so that if you do end up over here, you're hitting to an intense down slope onto this green. Plus you could even tuck the green further into this slope like here. Yeah, and then that would make this land use a bit different or you could keep the bunker and just make this bunker up a little bit more and then once again have this green just slope away from this side so missing over here would be like death and then have like a fairway apron on this side so yeah you would just be hitting down a slope and then have such a ridiculously hard shot into the green because right now if i bail out over here i feel like i have a pretty good angle into any pin on this hole I'm just bailing out to this bunker. Because never want to take this on. And you know how pe how unwilling people are to hit three irons or what off the tee. I think the layup is good as it is. I'm just thinking about how the sloping around the screen I feel like needs to be changed a bit. I can eat my words and not execute this sand shot. Yeah, you just make it a little bit harder to bail into that bunker. Alright, 18. Again, feels a bit too wide. Scale on the back nine has been a bit wider than the front. Kind of like the front scaling a bit better. As for finishing hole, I feel like you've done a hole like this already on the course. You've had a lot of, uh, it's almost like the dog leg occurs after the drive. So once again, if you were to shorten the tee, it would bring this water way more into play off the tee. This is what I mean by mounding. I like how this is a mound rather than a ridge. This is a ridge, right? This is a mount, and plays so much more different to everything around it. I think this is one of your best greens on the course. These slopes, once again, could be a little milder, but I like this green a lot. I like this kicker in and then kicker 
opposite direction kind of feels fun. As a finishing hole, I mean, visually it looks nice with that everything there, but I'm trying to think. Yeah, maybe just shortening the T a little bit on this one would also help it too. This kind of reminds me of, uh, well, and maybe it was just, uh, your last couple of holes were pretty strong. Uh, six, fifth, was it, uh, 13, 14, 15, 16 were all probably the best stretch of golf on the course. So maybe the whole 17 with the kind of pinched landing area drivable but you'd be dumb to really hit driver at it and then this is finisher kind of feels very similar to previous holes maybe takes away from it a bit but overall pretty solid as i said i i uh like the planting more in some spots than others i think the planting the rock style will be divisive for some people uh you can just ignore them if yeah i mean that's just preference stuff has nothing to do with the golf itself don't worry about it i kind of like how it's planted it's very unique um yeah um just trying to go over anything else i was thinking of uh your choice on whether to add a light rough layer to your your course at all or not right now by not adding a light rough layer you're, you're very much aiming this for like plat elite kinetic at the lowest with low winds but of course didn't feel particularly hard on the settings i was playing it at but it definitely feels like it could be ramped up and it feels like missing in a wrong place could really penalize you with the rocks everywhere yeah um i hope any of these tidbits helped you a little bit i was just as i said kind of thinking out loud uh, about how I would visualize certain holes. But yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this playthrough. And uh, yeah, good luck on finishing it up. Uh, <laughs> the planting must have taken a hell of a lot of work. And the clubhouse just looks fantastic too. So yeah, I uh, hope that helped you.